Playing Fortnite has always been very intensive on hardware. You know, having good parts and fast internet can make a world of difference on your performance in-game. But not everybody has the budget to spend thousands of dollars on gaming PCs and 240 hertz monitors. Come on, if that's you, make some noise. So instead, you know, they try to optimize and push their computers to the max, and I get it, I've been there but they don't always do it the best way. So in this video today, we're gonna be showing you guys some of the best ways to optimize your systems to get them to the max. Some of these tricks are like actually taught by computer geniuses in exchange for money, and we've gathered them here today for all of you to take advantage of. In addition to that, you know, we're also gonna be showing you some insane tricks to lower your ping and improve your connection to the Fortnite servers, which is a great thing. So for our question of the day, we're gonna ask you this, how much FPS and ping do you play on? So before we get into that, if you wanna learn how to play exactly like the pro players, you gotta check out ProGuys.com, where we have the best coaches in the world. Sign up for our membership today and get exclusive access to master courses by players like Benji and Mongrel. Come on now. If you wanna go more in depth and explore all the different aspects of competitive gameplay that you need to know in order to succeed, you already know where to start. You gotta head on over to ProGuys.com, the website. So be sure to sign up and start moving rapidly in your growth. What's going on, guys? This is your motivation guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. I'm back. Hope you guys are inspired to do great things this year. You got to believe in yourself. You know, you really, really do. If people don't believe in you, you have to believe in yourself. Many people can say things about you. And if you believe it, guess what? You're not going to succeed. I don't care if you've heard negative things from even people in your family, from friends, like whoever it is, when they say negative things to you, you have to know on the inside, you know, like that's not true. Like I am this person, I am better than that. I am a leader. I am, not only am I gonna be good in this game, but I'm also gonna be good in life, all right? So I wanna inspire you guys, be great, because there's greatness on the inside of you. Connect with me on my new Insta at Your Motivation Guy. Ladies and gentlemen, it's about that time. Everybody sit back, relax, and get my favorite candy. You already know what that is. Say it with me, it's that bunch of crunch. And let's get this going. So before we get into any optimizations, we're going to create a restore point so that you guys can revert any changes if need be, all right? This is just in case one of these optimizations does something that you want to revert. First, open your PC, click the Windows button and search, then search control panel. Okay, so go to system, then advanced system settings. Next, system protection. Now select the system drive windows it's installed on. Then go to configure, turn on system protection and set 5% and finally create. Now you've created a point where you could reverse any of the optimizations we're gonna be doing in this video, all right? First up, ladies and gentlemen, we have a setting called drive indexing. This essentially is something that, you know, when turned on, all searches are indexed so that searches are faster. However, the search indexer uses CPU and RAM. So with it switched off, you will save those resources. Now, this is a great optimization for some PCs and for others, it's not really as important. So here's some quick info to let you guys know if it's right for you. If you have a good CPU and a hard drive, we suggest keeping drive indexing on because it's gonna be more than necessary due to the hard drive. If you have a slow CPU and any hard drive, turn drive indexing off as the CPU benefit is absolutely necessary. Finally, if you have any SSD, AKA solid state drive, go ahead and turn off drive indexing. SSDs are incredibly fast and do not require this extra setting at all, as they can search at lightning fast speeds all by themselves. Now, here's how you can disable drive indexing. First, open up your file explorer, then select this PC. Now, right click each drive, click properties, uncheck allow files in this drive to have contents indexed and apply changes to drive. Subfolders and files, now click ignore all, okay? Next, hold the Windows key plus R, type in misconfig and click enter. Then boot, now advanced options, and finally, number of processors. Set to max and then select OK. Finally, check no GUI boot and set the timeout to five. Now let's get into some optimizations that are specific to Windows operating system. Windows, you know, tends to take up a lot of power from your PC. This is just because it has many processes that it's running that you don't even really know about. 
some of which you've never even used. So let's get into minimizing this usage, all right? First, I want you to go to settings by clicking the Windows button and selecting the gear icon on the bottom right, all right? Now go to system, then notifications and select disable all. Make sure focus assist is off and automatic rules off. Power and sleep, sleep set to never and storage sense off. Next, we're gonna set up your taskbar so that you can easily view it. And we're gonna get into why you're gonna want this in a few moments. First, go over to home, select personalization. Now go to colors and make sure that transparency effects are off. Now go to your taskbar and select which icons appear in taskbar. Now set always show all icons in the notification area to on. This is so that you can easily see what is running on your PC at all times, all right? Now, I want you to go to turn systems icons on or off and pull all to off except clock, volume, network, power. This cleans up taskbar clutter and basically keeps your taskbar easy to manage and easy to see. The reason why we did all of this is so that you can just easily view your taskbar and keep an eye on what processes and programs are taking up the most power from your CPU, GPU, and memory. So by keeping an eye on it, you know, you can oftentimes like find things popping up that you don't need to have open, which will increase performance significantly if you end those tasks. Next up, go back to Windows Settings Home and then select Startup Apps and make sure you turn off everything you don't use. Minimizing the amount of startup apps is gonna make your PC boot faster and can improve FPS. Once again, go back home and this time go to gaming. Once you're here, turn off game bar and turn on game mode. This is gonna improve your CPU and GPU performance quite significantly as game bar tends to take up a lot of power. Okay, so now go back to home and select ease of access, then display and set this to show animation off. You know, animations use up GPU and are very unnecessary. Again, go to home, then privacy, select general, and put absolutely everything off, except camera and microphone. This is specific for gaming as we're basically disabling unnecessary features that can just interfere while you're playing or just take up PC power. For the next trick, we will once again be going to home, then update and security, select Windows update, and then advance options and put this to off. Delivery optimization should be set to off, okay? And for advanced options, check everything and just set to minimum. This is just very good for Fortnite. You know, as you don't want Windows downloading updates while you're playing. So next, we're going to empty out some programs that could be taking up PC power at any time. So go to control panel, then uninstall a program and uninstall any programs you do not use, all right? Also, make sure to empty your recycling bin by opening it and just deleting everything permanently. Do this every once in a while just to keep your PC free of clutter and just unnecessary files. Lastly, we're gonna be doing something known as defragmentation, which can make a world of difference on your hard drive. First, you're gonna start off by going back to your desktop and then just going over to Windows search at the bottom left. Now search defrag and click on defragmentation. Once you're on this screen, select your hard drives one by one and go ahead and analyze and defragment all of it. In the case you have an SSD, we do not suggest defragging because defragmentation is meant for hard drives and optimizing their ability to scan through files. But defragmentation can be a great option for anybody who has a hard drive as their main drive or anyone that has their Fortnite game installed on a hard drive. The next setting we're going to be tweaking is going to be the power managing tactics that your system uses. This is gonna have a significant impact on your PC's performance, so if you stuck around, you're gonna benefit a lot. All right, first, go to your control panel by searching it in Windows, search and selecting it. Then system and security, click power options. Now next to whichever power plan you have selected, click change plan settings and then change advanced power settings under wireless adapter settings. Click power saving mode and set to maximum performance. This is gonna use as much power as possible to fuel your processors. In order to optimize your GPU, we're gonna be going to NVIDIA control panel and making some changes. First, go to adjust image settings with preview and put this to custom preference and move this slider all the way over to performance. This is gonna prioritize performance over quality and optimize your input speed and FPS for games and like everything else. Finally, my friends, let's get into some ways to optimize your network settings 
and get your ping as low as possible without wasting any more money on bad programs or unnecessary ping optimization guides. First off, we got a software known as Adware Cleaner, which essentially finds and removes potentially unwanted programs that will use up your internet and increase your ping for no reason. So go ahead and download it from the link below in the description, all right? Okay, so once you've installed the program, run the scan and clean up anything it finds, all right? And then restart your PC. Next, we're gonna be increasing your bandwidth by disabling the bandwidth limit that is automatically set in place to help install updates. Go ahead and click Windows key plus R and then type in gpedit.msc and click enter. Now go to computer configuration, select admin templates, then network, then QoS, packet scheduler, then limit reservable bandwidth, Make sure that this is enabled and then set your bandwidth limit to zero. For the next trick, my friends, go back to your desktop and click the Windows search bar at the bottom left and search reset. Now click on network reset and click reset now. This next trick is Fortnite specific and you know really works very different for different people. So it may not work as well for you. Fortnite has many different servers all around the world which can carry out its massive lobbies. These servers are responsible for receiving and sending out every bit of data that players use up every time they do something in game. The location of these servers can have a huge impact on your ping. Depending on how close you are, you're gonna see a variation in your ping. The farther you are, the slower it will be because it has to travel a longer distance. And oftentimes because of your network provider, not optimization, you know, your network tunnel for every specific game you play. It'll oftentimes be sent on a longer path. You know, this is where network tunneling can actually come into handy. One strategy some people use is finding good VPN tunnels that are located very closely to the Fortnite servers. This is going to decrease the amount of distance the information your PC sends out travels, essentially optimizing your ping and lowering the distance. The way you find these tunnels is by searching the internet for server locations that are closest to the Fortnite server near you. All right, guys, so go ahead and put this VPN server ID into your device and enjoy your now lower ping. This is gonna work greatly for those of you that play on terribly high pings, above 60. Here's a map of the Fortnite server locations to help you guys find the right server locations if you decide that you wanna try this out for yourself. All right, guys, once again, this is your motivation guy, the one and only Keith Allen. Make sure to connect with me at my new Insta at your motivation guy. Hope you enjoyed this video. Comment down below what you guys thought and what you'd like to see next. We strive to bring you guys daily quality content, so do us a favor by liking the video, subscribe to the channel, and show ProGuys.com some love by using code ProGuys in the item shop. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.